But yeah, here's the issue regarding the, the league cycle. How many leagues... So, A of all, I think GGG is learning, right? I, I think that they are like really understanding the flow from making bigger mistakes. Um, like while I did not hate 315 as much as everybody did, it definitely had issues, right? And and there's a it, it was not a loved league. Expedition is great, right? But the problem is is uh, everything else that came with it. I think they're learning their lesson. However, the, we, what we got this league, we only get this once a year. Full really need to temper their expectations and understand that like oh what was the best what was the last best league that you loved oh ritual right why did we love ritual because you know we got the maven and atlas passives and all that type of stuff do people love ritual no rich you think i'm paying 15 chaos for this hot garbage absolutely not ritual as a league mechanic in my opinion is like one of the worst i hate ritual but what we got with the Atlas passes and the free full rework and Maven and holy cow, right? Huge. Similarly, ain't nobody love Arch Nemesis. No one calls this Arch Nemesis League, right? If you're going to call it every anything, people are just saying 317. People only talk about Siege of the Atlas. And that's the exciting thing that everybody cares about. We're not, we, we don't get this. We don't get all this cool stuff. That, you know, we still get this next league, right? But especially if you look at Ultimatum, they were very scared to even touch anything in the Atlas Passes, right? Uh, I was saying this uh, a couple weeks ago. I think the best thing that they could do right now for like really mixing things up and, and uh, you know, making 318 fresh is they should lean into the Atlas Passes, right? Hopefully the way that they built this and they set up the infrastructure is something that is very, very mutable, very very flexible and they can like they can throw in wacky crazy new passives right like no matter what the 318 mechanic is gonna be kind of boring right it's gonna be like ultimate like i like ultimatum right but it's gonna be like that right it's gonna be something smaller it's not gonna be this because this is the once a year thing and the problem is the reason why you like this league is because of this <laughs> um and so what I believe that GGG should do as they try to extend the longevity of these DLC, you know, these are basically like the yearly DLC packs, right? The way that they should try to extend this is really lean into the mutability and, and like flexibility of this and create new strategies. And like, if they add ultimatum next league like in, back into the game, throw a whole bunch of ultimatum passes in here that like, really really crazy stuff that like dramatically changes how it plays honestly i want them to go way harder right i want them to go way 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 harder there are some passes here that do some like really cool interesting new things like ruckus while it ended up sucking because rogue exiles suck i think ruckus is hilarious and awesome right similarly there is the um there's the beast one that is like absolutely bonkers and crazy yellow beasts have a 15 percent chance to be replaced by red beasts right and then you combine that with all of the other bestiary stuff and you can get, um, you know, insane numbers of, yeah, yeah, 8% chance to contain additional packs of beasts instead of other monsters, right? So great migration plus big game, right? Like that's a once, it's a 15% chance by 8% chance thing, right? Like very, very low chance. However, when that happens, how cool is that, right? Like when you get 72 red beasts in a single map, that, that sparks so much joy. And that's such like an interesting, funny, unique thing in the game that is enabled by the Atlas passives here. And what GGG should really do is the way that they can get more longevity out of this passive for the next year, instead of like, okay, 318, you know, maybe it's like really fun and people are still excited oh, about this. Possible. 319 is like, you know, pretty cool. Maybe they try to spice it up a little bit. Uh, and then 320 no one's going to care, right? 320, it, people are going to be sick of the Atlas Passos. It's going to be like arch, you know, super duper mega arch nemesis, like your ultra arch nemesis. It's going to be some, something like kind of really boring. And if they don't, like, it's just going to be as probably, right? Um, unless it's on the scale of Betrayal or Heist or anything like that. Like our regular leagues are generally pretty small, right? Like you look at, you look at Breach or... Um, or Abyss or anything like that, right? They're kind of just kind of small, right? Or Legion even. Like, oh, the end game Legion encounter is run in a circle for five minutes. The things on the scale of like those big end game encounters, 
we only get that once a year. So like, this is really my proposal for like, GGG should just, they should probably have a department entirely focused on reworking existing things that will continue, like how they can keep it dynamic, right? Because this is a temp league, I think they should lean into it and go like harder into the wackiness, right? Like clearly it's been demonstrated with that what people enjoy is give me my mage blood, give me my headhunter, give me my crystallized omniscience and ashes of stars and phantasmal cre cremation and do like really, really wacky and fun things. And since it's a temp league, I think they should, especially as we're getting ready for PoE 2, to get people excited about what Path of Exile can do and can like really pop off and get crazy, lean into this and like find insane combinations. Like ch change Ruckus to be 16% chance for 40 rogue exiles, you know, and then we have the Tormented Spirit and then we have Unrelenting Torment will actually say, you know, uh, you three additional currency items drop for, from uh, Possessed Monsters, right? Then you get some insane combination that is just wacky and crazy, but who cares, right? You know, just like Nemesis 3 didn't ruin the game, give, a, you know, give us a little bit of a taste here and there. Everything doesn't have to be balanced. Lean into the insanity and, uh, you know, and then people will keep coming back and playing more and more in the future. And I, th I think that that's, you know, while I don't think that that is the foundation of like, you know, fully good sustainable game design. If we look at it within the context of temporary three month leagues, I think they should be less scared of, of experimentation. So that's that's what I would do if I was uh, in charge of like really trying to catapult Path of Exile for like really oh, trying to grow oh, that excitement oh, and, and, and bring it into the fore of being an exciting game that you know we, is growing. And, and like it, it has the foundation of all of these systems and all of this complexity and I think they should lean into the insanity and lean into making things more uh, achievable. I don't want to use the word accessible, but achievable without as much game knowledge, because I think we've proven that, you know, if they lean into the full Diablo 2 Magic the Gathering, you know, punch you in the dick a hundred times game design, um, 315, right? You know, people just don't want to play that. No matter what I feel about the way that, uh, you know, what is actually, you know, straight up Mark Rosewater, good game design, what people play is what matters. So you know, people vote with their time and their eyeballs and their money, right? And uh, honestly, the, the, here, here's the hottest take right here. Here's the big, the big D hot take right here. Um, GGG should look at Fortnite. Um, they should look at Fortnite and, uh, and see what they do for sustainability and excitability and not being afraid to experiment and get get bonkers and like really take inspiration from that and and like go go absolutely crazy and i i bet you i bet you path of exile would explode if they adopted something like you know obviously don't go you know cutesy kitty you know oh teletubbies or whatever but like go wacky go absolutely wacky and crazy push l allow people to push things into insane levels and in a more accessible way and i think path of exile would would explode if they did that. And I think nothing else could even compare if they, if they did that, if they did that. I've spent a good amount of time at this point now, like I've been playing PoE professionally <laughs> uh, for over a year now. And, uh, you know, I've seen, I've been through the ups and the downs and seen like the trends and the, what's like the, you know, the, the ebbs and the valleys there. And uh, we've seen what works, right? We've seen what works. And I think you have to let go of the, the full academic, like good game design philosophy and uh, just understand that your game is a sandbox for fun and allow people to do that. I think that's just what it comes down to. And people vote with their time, right? Just add among us, who cares? <laughs>